number four. Aguayo opened with a combination that scored, but Mancini came right back with a flurry of punches that landed. We are at the Valley Park Place Casino Hotel in Atlantic City, New Jersey for this lightweight championship. And Mancini on the attack again. Mancini is on the attack again, but he's, uh, and he's landing, but he's not cutting off the ring as I talked about earlier. Now he cut it off. That's Beautiful it. move by Mancini. Step over to the right and came back with a double left hook. Classic move. Looks like that left of the body hurt Arguello too. He backed up visibly. There's Lenny Mancini watching his son going to this lightweight crown. Again, Mancini scoring underneath and up top. There is now more redness under the left eye of the champion Arguello. landed a good straight left as Mancini came in. Tim Arguello is so cool in there. He, he looks like a matador in there. Cool and alert at all times. Good description of this outstanding champion, the matador. But the little bull isn't doing bad either, Tim. <laughs> I'd like to alert our local stations along the line. We'll be going to a 30-second station break at the end of this fourth round. Less than a minute to go. Round four. We're in the fourth round of this world title fight and the control has not even been established yet. Neither man has uh, dominated the other. It's been back and forth. This is a classic matchup. Left up and cut from Arguello. Graves Mancini will counter back with a right to the head. seems to be picking up the pace a little more. Gentlemen, he's been a little busier this round. Putting his punches together well, Tim. Going to the body, bend him back up to the head. He's a busy little kid. There's two more shots to the body. We'll return with round five after these words from your local station. A good round for Mancini, climaxed right at the bell by that left underneath and a straight right hand. All right, live pictures now from round number five as we move along at the one-third mark of this 15-round scheduled lightweight championship bout. Mancini the challenger in green on the left of your screen, Arguello the champion now circling to the left. Tony Perez is the referee, does not figure in the scoring. Straight left jab from Arguello. Good left hook from Arguello land. Last round, Mancini picked up the pace. This round, it looks like Arguello means business. They're taking turns, as Sean said. Nobody has established superiority at all in this fight as yet. It's still up for grabs. Punch of a flurry. The others were not damaging. Mancini has been staying out of reach, and uh, he's he's fighting the right kind of fight. He's fighting a moving fight, and it's given Arguello a lot of trouble. His manager, David Wolf, Mancini's manager, was afraid that Tony Perez, the referee, would not let his man fight inside. That hasn't been a factor because he hasn't been in there very much so far. Well, that's a sign of a good referee, Tim. A fellow that stays out of the action, lets the guys do their work. This Mancini with a triple left hook. You don't see that very much anymore. Only one of them landed, however. That's the one Aguayo didn't see, Tim. <laughs> oh, there's a good solid left hook. Snap back ahead of Aguayo. 
I'd like to alert our stations along the line again. We'll have a 30 second station break at the end of this fifth round. Under a minute to go, round five. Is I, I believe with one punch that Aguayo can do a lot more damage. It really is dangerous to go toe to toe with him. You could be winning a rally and then all of a sudden find yourself on your face. That's right. But Mancini's been fighting such a such a smart guy by moving. Well, we turn with round six after these words from your local station. All right, here we see that big left hook by, by Mancini. Throws a right hand, it comes back, sets up the hook beautifully. Arguello carries that left hand kind of low. That's why Mancini's been able to hit him with that right hand. This is round number six, scheduled for 15. That left eye of Arguello is beginning to give him trouble, showing from all those right hands that Mancini's thrown. And Arguello just landed a combination inside. Mancini should continue to use that right hand. I've seen him throw a lot of good hooks in this round. He needs to go back to the well. Back to Big the right, right hand. hand by Aguayo. This kid can take some punch. Mancini out two hooks to the body. That right hand buckled the knees of Arguello. It staggered him. Sixth round action at this WBC lightweight championship bout. That right hand fell short. Arguello covering up well. Tim Ryan with Gil Clancy, Sean O'Grady. We are live from Valley Park Place Casino Hotel in Atlantic City, New Jersey. A packed house here in the hotel ballroom. Tim Arguello is starting to look the worst for wear. Starting to shake a little bit. You notice that, Sean? Yes, sir. His, even now, his right eye, we've had uh, a lot of swelling underneath his left eye. Now his right eye is starting to show some weakness. Backed up again by Mancini. Landed the left and then finally stopped Mancini from coming in with a right hand. Sean, I think about now Ray should really go into high gear and start backing uh, Aguayo up. When a, fighter's, uh, when a fighter gets up in age, the first thing to go are his legs. And the legs of Alexis Arguello are looking a little shaky. Record books show Arguello to be 29. He told us yesterday he's 28. Sometimes as fighters age, they also fudge a little bit on exactly how old they are. We don't have well, any Tim, reason to disbelieve him, however. Well, Tim, he's been fighting professionally since 1968, and I would assume he probably had a little bit of an amateur career, so he must have started fighting very, very young. 16, apparently. And Cini scored with a flurry. Missed with that left hand. 16th title bout for Alexis Arguello in three different divisions. From 126 pounds to 135. Under 30 seconds to go in round six. Man, Mancini moves his head so well. He keeps moving from the body up, from his waist up. That has given Arguello so much trouble because that, the jab of Arguello is his best weapon. Seems to me that Mancini is having a little more success getting in left hand. His boring in tactic seems to be more effective now. <laughs> Round number seven of this scheduled 15 rounder. This is approaching the midway point of this scheduled 15 round fight. Boom Boom Mancini the challenger. In the foreground the champion Arguello lands a left hook. Good left hook by Arguello and Sean O'Grady. Gil? Tim, uh, Eddie Fudge in the corner was instructing Arguello. It's his left hook, right hand, left hook, right hand. Let's see how well Arguello pays attention to his great trainer, Eddie Fudge. 
He just landed with that left hook, and Mancini retaliated with the right hand. Well, that's because he only paid attention to half the instructions, Sean. <laughs> if he would have followed back with that right hand, he may not have got hit. Yes, Mancini. but it's good instructions. you got to come back. Mancini and he took the play away. Trained by Murphy Griffith. Eddie Futch uh, recently joining the Arguello camp in this fight. Arguello's manager is Eduardo Roman, but he does not work the corner. David Wolf, the manager of Mancini, very much in evidence. As he is already on record as objecting to the selection of the judges in this fight. His complaints about referee Perez certainly has so far been totally unfounded. Sean, this round, this round Mancini's giving Arguello a little too much time to get set. Those old legs, you have to keep backing them up. But Mancini keeps hitting Arguello. That's what established the control in the last round. You gotta keep hitting the mark. Arguello is missing with his punches. He's not landing on the button as he had before. Mancini's cleaning up now. Mancini backing Arguello into the ropes, landed a good combination. Uppercut from Arguello's score to the chest of Mancini. This little Ray Mancini is a disciplined fighter. He learned his lessons well. Works that body, goes back up to the head. But kid with as little experience as he had, he really does his job well. Don't you think so, Sean? I think he does a spectacular job for the experience he's had. He's got a man with 20 fights fighting, a man with 71 fights. There was a question whether he'd had enough experience to face a man like Arguello. That question's been answered already. Less than a minute to go in round seven. Good left from Mark Whale, snap back the head of the challenge. Solid left hook to the body for Mark Whale. He shook Ray a little bit. Shook him a little bit with that left hook, Tim. Another 30 seconds to go, round seven. Left when the champion landed. Well, has got that big punch with the joint break in a situation like that, like this, because uh, he's a little behind on points in my estimation. Final second, seventh round. 